Hi there, welcome back. It's a new dawn, it's a new day, it's a new way, and I'm feeling good. Wait. <laughs> new chances new things to do i'm very excited that the interior came together i almost fell um not that excited about here it is the polishing of the trims although in daylight they do seem the one i did does seem better than the other one but still a lot of scratches and um sadly the stores are still closed due to the lockdown so i can't go and buy another polish product or something i have to figure it out online and i just didn't couldn't find any solution i am happy with um so what we're gonna do we're gonna ignore that ignore that today and today we are going to focus on the rear of the car because take a closer look we still have to install the lights the license plate the bumper and yes, we have to install this one, but I have to talk to the painter first because I found a little spot over there that wasn't painted correctly. So they have to fix that. And I wonder if I can put that one in if they have to fix it. So uh, to be continued, nevertheless, a lots of things we can do. I'm not gonna do the interior and now I'm gonna show you some magic. Aha, uh -huh, it works. I'm not gonna put the interior of the trunk in uh, simply because there are a lot of parts. Uh, it's, uh, it's a very easy, handy storage place. But also, uh, the carpets on the, from the trunk are yeah, in a bad shape. Um, I have to think about what I'm gonna do with that. But nevertheless, Decisions, decisions, budget, etc. It all comes together sometimes. Uh, I'm gonna get the box and I'm gonna show you what we got. And just like that, we got a pile of boxes. The final boxes coming from the attic. Now, all the Ferrari parts are here in the garage. And that's a good thing. Oh, except for two things. The engine, and the gearbox, and some fenders that are lying in the shed. But all other parts are right here so this is the one the box we're gonna need uh, and we got some uh, pretty cool things in here it's like uh, Christmas these are the drills that sit on the underfloor of the rear spoiler I hope I pronounced that correctly so there can go in each one on each side and here we have lots of bolts the bumper by the way is over there we're gonna take that one later on but these are important the tail lights and well there's a little story on these tail lights because as you can see normally this one will be orange and this one will be white uh, somebody in the past decided that it would be a good idea to blacken the lights and although i kind of like it it, it's, it it looks beautiful but um, the downside is in daytime when i uh, for example break the guys behind me complain that they can't really see the brake light so this is something we're gonna have to change in the future. Uh, lucky for me, for the, uh, the, 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 the tests, the, how do you call this in English? In here in Holland, we call it AP key. A peri uh, peri periodic checkup to check if the car is still legal. And lucky the rules for an old timer like this is not, are not that heavy, but well, somehow, to be honest, I think that this could be an issue, but 
And in the 10 years I've owned the car, eight times it has been on a checkup, never was a problem. And the guy who owned this car before me never had the problem. And the one that did it, well, okay, show you. So what we're gonna do, we are going to install these. And I'm gonna, because simply they cost about 100, 150 euros each. You need four of them, do the math. Also, I think that maybe, I already tried it, but maybe I can remove some of the paint on the inside. But I'm only gonna try it when I have uh, a little bit of budget left. So that if I destroy them, then I can buy new ones. Or I can just keep them like this and put a different light bulb in it. That's another solution. And what else do we have here? Well, <laughs> we're not gonna need these one, this one anymore. Do you recognize this? This was the old uh, light, the side marker. We don't need that anymore. We do need to have to adjust some electrics for this, for this but yeah. We don't need it. Uh, what else do we got here? Uh, lots of electrics, uh, bolts, and of course, and uh, yeah, I don't know if this one is original, but this is the antenna. It's been up only once in its lifetime, just to ch in my uh, ownership lifetime, just to check if it worked. But um, yeah, we're gonna install it. Uh, otherwise, we're gonna have a hole in the. Body. So uh, that's box number one, and I'm gonna oh 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 have to pick the other box because all these are in from the front of the car. But this one, of course, is important. The license plate. We're gonna need to install that one back to the car. So, uh, what else do we got? Now we're showing around what we have. Also pretty cool, the front lights, but that's going to be a different video. Yeah. Let's get started. are on that bumper looks sick yes I know I have adjusted it a little bit higher because I figured when you look on top you're gonna see this gap and not this gap uh, maybe if you take a photograph from the behind you'll see it but the reason uh, I did this is the original bumper the big bumper had these flaps right here and uh, I think they are ugly, but also um, with the European style bumper, I have to change the flaps and I just don't like it. So I decided this will be a much better look. And if you look closely here, you see the grills are popped on. Sick. And you're missing something right here. Talked about that in a different video. What should I do with the horse? It just didn't fit anymore like the horse was damaged, although it was original. Um, matter of fact is, we ordered a new one, but meanwhile, we're doing a test and I kind of like it. <laughs> Can you see it? It's just drying right now. But I painted, someone suggested paint the horse black. So I figured, well, I bought a new one. Why not try? give it a try and put it on black? And while it's there, I kind of like it. And I think we're gonna go for black, but we'll see. 
Uh, next up is the lights. Believe it or not, you really have to have magic hands or Italian hands, I guess, to be able to screw them down. Uh, but it worked. Just uh, have to tighten them up. But look at this. How sick is this car? <laughs> so, um, one down, one to go. So it's time to be creative again. Well, this is sort of how I moved this part out of the car. As you can clearly see, this thing is not original. It looks too, too damn brand new. <laughs> but it was mounted on the blinker that was here that is gone. So that mount is gone now, so I have to figure another way out to get the damn thing in. Turns out that the bracket they once made go all the way there mind you I sprayed the inside to protect it against rust um, but the bracket yeah well could I, I, I turned this one around so I could shorten the bracket and just put it on over there and you see here two holes uh, those are the originals ho original holes of the old bracket the bracket that's not in the car anymore uh even before i uh, it was like a remain was left on it like this but it didn't have any function same as this so those three holes i need to fill otherwise when you're driving the water will come in through those holes and don't mind we still we've got a little bit of overspray we got to work on so what we're gonna do we're gonna uh yeah, find a cover or something to put it in and then it's okay. Last job of the day. decided I want to keep this one black I like it but look at the rear guys finally it's starting to look like a car again you can sit in it now we got the back mounted the rear deck lid is a discussion I already told you so next video uh, we're gonna work on the front of the car I want to thank you again for watching Hope you enjoyed the journey. See you again next time. Please don't forget to like, subscribe. Ah, yeah, no, no need to tell you what, that's a standard YouTube thing. But join me on this journey. And uh, see you again next time. Goodbye.